June of 2000, Mary Alice and I, along with our three young kids, moved from Southern Indiana to Charleston, South Carolina to plant a church with Faith Assembly of God. We were so excited. We were filled with passion and enthusiasm for what God was getting ready to do in our lives and ministry. Uh, it's hard to believe. It's uh, Ma Megan was about 11 then, uh, Logan was about seven, and Madison was about two when we moved here to Charleston area. Um, well, that was uh, almost 21 years ago. It's hard to believe. Uh, now Megan's married to Mike Olish. He's given us our they're, they're giving us our first grandchild, Finley Michael. He'll be three in July. We love that kid. Um, Logan is 27 now and um, getting ready to be married in November to a beautiful young woman by the name of Julia Baird. We're so blessed by her. And, uh, and Madison just graduated from Liberty University um, and she is getting ready to go on a short-term missions trip to Ecuador this fall. And then she will return and pursue a, a graduate studies on a PA track. Uh, we're very thankful for what God is doing in our lives of our children. Um, it's, it's been a, an amazing 21 years. Um, Recently, uh, well, actually over the last few months, uh, my wife and I have been sensing a stirring in our hearts uh, that God was preparing us for something new, a new direction in our ministry and our lives. We began to seek the Lord, and after, uh, after seeking the Lord and um, conversations and uh, interviews, uh, we're thankful and so excited uh, to be, have been invited and have accepted to be the next lead pastors of First Assembly of God in Rock Hill, South Carolina. The beautiful thing about this is this is my hometown uh, in Rock Hill and this is my home church where I was saved at the age of 14. So it's very surreal and uh, very exciting. We, we, um, we're, we're so inside, excited about what God's going to do with the church. Uh, Rock Hill has about 78,000 people in the city limits and, uh, and beyond that it's a growing area, fifth largest city in the state. Um, and this church is just a, a position for uh, I believe a growth season and exciting things. So we're looking forward to the journey he has for us ahead. Uh, if you've ever been a part of Coastal Harvest Church here in Charleston over the last 21 years, um, our last Sunday is the 13th of June, and we're going to have a celebration day that day. And, you know, it's bittersweet letting go of life and ministry here after 21 years, but we know the church is going to move forward in good hands. We're thankful for that. But we're going to have a celebration day that day on the 13th. Our first Sunday in Rock Hill will be on Father's Day, and we're looking forward to that great time together. So if you've had a hand in the ministry of Coastal Harvest Church, we'd love to see you again on the 13th. But we just want to say thank you for all of you on this side of things in Charleston area for loving us and encouraging us, praying for us, supporting us all these years. We love you back. You've been family to us. And for the ones that we're getting ready to come and, and grow with and journey with in Rock Hill, we can't wait to get there. We're so excited uh, to, for our journey ahead and what God would have us do together. I'm um, looking forward to that. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, one of my favorite scriptures. It says, trust the Lord with all of your heart and don't lean on your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge him and he will make your path straight. We feel that God has honored this scripture in our lives and prayers many times in my life, especially now. So thank you for your prayers in our transition. Thank you for your love and your support. We love each and every one of you and we look forward to what God has for you here in Charleston at Coastal Harvest and also what God has for us in the journey ahead at First Assembly in Rock Hill. God bless you guys.